Hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to build a U.S. mail truck today. I hope you can join me. I don't have a parts list, so you'll have to go through the video and um, look for the parts because I'm not a professional um, tutorial builder. This will be my first tutorial ever. I'm sure that uh, if I do tutorials in the future, I will get better. But in the meantime, let's start off with this. This is a, so let's count it. Three, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. A two by twelve. Okay, now this is going to start the chassis. Uh, maybe it's not called the chassis. Maybe it's called the frame. But let's put these two wheels right in the front. So flush right there. You're going to use these grill pieces as like spacers. So we're going to have one right behind it. Then we're going to have this 4x6 in white. And we're going to use a lot of white today because it is a U.S. mail truck. Then one of these, I use them as spacers. So that way it'll show where to put everything. So another one. So these are 2x2s with the wheel attachment. Okay. And as I go along here, I thought I was going to use the parts from the US mail plane. Uh, turns out I didn't use any of those parts. And then I thought I was going to use the parts from the um, police car. And it turns out the only pieces I used from the police car were these but um well let's just continue so then now this here we're going to need um a white one by six and underneath the one by six we're going to add two one by two transparent pieces you can use yellow or you can use orange but is a cool cool color to use orange right there it's just a under light so underneath the car and then we're going to be putting four of these right around all four of the wheels. Oh, wait. Didn't I forget something? Um, we need a spacer. In other, in other words, we need um, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. If you have two of the long ones, you can do, use that. Um, if not, you can use like I did and eek. Told you I was not the pro professional. All right. So here we go. Now it's more secure. See, I'm you push on. Ah, eh, it's better with the with the two by. Was it twelve? Yeah, two by twelve. So if you can get two two by twelves and put it right here, it'd be a lot more secure. I do not have 
two two by twelves. I did not have the proper pieces, but um, you go ahead and get the two proper pieces, two two by twelves. Okay, and then. And then, and then along comes John. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not a singing video. Oh. So now. Yeah. We add these, right? There. And then what we're going to need Around here are the sloped pieces, the upside down, and what they are, they put, you get this way to consider, they make it a little more flush, and then a one by two in white and you're going to proceed to do that to the other side here so now see seamless mm -hmm. so again do that on this side you see you're going to put in the middle the one by two and the two edges the sloped upside down slope pieces with the studs on the bottom because you have to turn them around so now their studs are on the top see now these are usually used for roofs and then you're going to put one on each side of the back Mm -hmm. Now, if you are having the same problem that I had and you did not have the 2 by 12s I believe there was, then you can go ahead and um, make that a little more secure. by adding some stability. So we're going to clip those two together right here. So that way it's a little more secure in that middle so it doesn't buckle. Okay, now that's because I didn't have those long pieces. But um, it, it is what it is. Right? We didn't have it. We didn't have it. All right. So now, in the back, we're going to have these clipped pieces. One by two with the clip. Add a one by two plain one on top. So that'll be there. And add another one right there. You're going to need one of these in white. <clears throat> I didn't have white. All right. I thought I don't have it. I don't have it. So I, I used gray. The door is going to be gray. It is what it is. Then what we're going to do is to stabilize this, we need to clip it together. To clip it together, I used this corner piece. So it is the L shape. Dun, dun, dun. See, this is a one by one with a hole. You're going to use this, 
you're going to use this Technic pin and then a red light in the back because he's applying his brakes, you know, because that's what happens sometimes. Okay, and you're going to do both sides like that. And then you're going to add, just like this, two, one by ones. Then we're going to build up this wall. Okay, now there's going to be mirror image of two. So you're going to have one on one side, but in order to do the other one, it has to be a mirror image. Okay, so what, what you can do is you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you're going to have a one by six in white. Okay, and then you're going to fill it all up with one buys in blues trying to overlap the seams so that way your seams do not fall apart okay so in this case I did that one by ah there go see this is the reason why you need that two buys in the bottom so for stability okay and here I did the one by fours a one by three because I didn't want to do a one by two because there's a seam here so try to go according to the seams and then over here a one by two. You're going to do the same with the white next and then a layer of red. Okay, trying to do the seams in a certain way. Now you can do that, but just make sure to have a big long piece on the top to keep it all together. So what we did here to get this nice little door is after we did the one buys, which we'll, we'll make sure to do real quick. Feel free to fast forward. Yay. Is we did the one by one with stud on side and we put in see how it's recessed there a square now the reason why we did the square is because that's how the mailman looks that's how the mail truck looks so we did this knot with a square okay then we did a one by one brick on top of it with a three, six, nine, ten, a one by ten. And this holds it all together with these bricks that um, have the windows. Now, if you don't have these windows, then feel free to look around to see if you have these transparent bricks either in clear or the what's called gray or black and they are darker colored and they also will fit you put two or you can do the other ones that the I call L brackets. 
So again, now you do the same thing on the other side with the same technique, but this time a mirrored image. And I have already done that. If you need to look at it, then I will gladly turn this around. Again, you're going to use the um, one in white, then the blue, then the white, then the red. You're going to use the three windows for the back, one in the front, a snot technique over here with a uh, flat tile, a one by one flat tile, and a one by one brick right there. Now, so far, it's looking pretty good. Now, we need some kind of grill in the front. So, what we're going to do is we have this. Oh, I don't know what to call it. But it's got the studs on the top. And I'm using the blue one by two on top and that will fit right there nice and snug as a bug in a rug it does I think I'm going to have to put a two by four right there just to lift it up just a hair there much better much better much better so a two by two right there okay so so far now we got the back looking pretty nice we got the sides and for the front okay we're going to have okay this is going to be a windshield wiper we need to build up a front no it's going to be slanted pieces these are the pieces that I had to make up a 1x6 area. The car is 1x6 long and you're going to have this 1x6 or in my case since I didn't have another 1x6 overhang right so it's going to be right on the edge. And ta-da! Right, right, right. That looks good. That looks good, man. Now, <coughs> this is where a 1x6 glass piece goes. Segment is well used and it fits right in there. Okay, this is where you can add your windshield wipers. Remember, wipes, wipers on, lights on. Okay. Wipers, push them flush against the windshield so that way they can do their job very well. Get a 1x6 on top and add these sloped pieces to give it that kind of finished edge. We're going to make a grill. This is the grill. What I did to make the grill is 
these are grill, called grilled pieces. I started off with in white a 2x6. Then I added on top of the 2x6 the 2x8. So I put the 2x8 right on top of there. I can use either um, little headlights like little studs but these look really cool because they are the cheese slopes in transparent but you can use it in transparent yellow or white and if you don't have the cheese slopes in transparent you can use little um, studs just as long as they look like headlights on the top you're going to use these one by twos with the little ledge which I am not a tutorial builder so I don't know the names and here we have right below that right smack dab in the middle a one by two then these pieces there the arch pieces you're going to put one on each side and again the grill pieces right there and now there's the grill is it looking like a mail truck so far oh yes let's put some mail in there just some oh boy that mail just kind of is a tube because you never know what people are going to get these days right now you need a steering wheel so what we're going to do is we're going to put the steering wheel on this one by four of any color i chose blue because i want the interior of this mail truck to be blue and Daniel loves pink. He really does. How do I know this? Because Daniel's my son. He is a mailman. And he likes the color pink. He likes the color blue. So that's why I've chosen blue and pink. Because he's fond of a bunch of colors. He likes yellow too. Now I did kind of lose that chair. I'll have to pause the video to find the seating. What happened? It was under the camera the whole time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I put a chair there. And Daniel is ready to go deliver the mail so we'll go put him right inside and we just need a top so I've gotten some one by tens yep they're ten so two one by tens right on either side and then I added some bricks until well some from roofs and you can see I did a 2 by 6 in the middle and a 4 by 6 with the studs all around one on either side here and we're done look at that hey maybe we should add like a holder yeah let's just do that so he needs to like grab a hold of this somehow there you decide how he's going to open the back of the mail truck I've used this little faucet piece and he's gonna open it and take out the mail and deliver it and feel free to fill it up with mail and there we have it my first ever tutorial 
I am sorry that it's not like other um, professional tutorials, but I hope that you've enjoyed um, the tutorial because I don't see any other tutorials from good mail trucks out there. I mean, I've, I mean, uh, I've seen some yellow ones, I think. I didn't see no ma white mail trucks. I didn't see any. Um, so maybe because I googled it with the wrong words and names, but this is the U.S. mail truck. Mm -hmm. I hope you have all the pieces. If you don't have this piece right here, feel free to get, you know, modify it. Get the um, pieces that will fit, fit this. You can also use um, door hinges if you have them. Well, have fun building. Thank you very much. I hate to go. This has been so much fun. Have fun building. Bye.